Hey, welcome back guys. We are going to move on now to challenge two in our season two of Flux's online Steam challenges. First, really good job at the first challenge. Awesome seeing all those really cool inventions and different things that could help someone's life. Uh, so great job on that. We're really excited to keep this moving. So now we're going to move on. You are going to build something that moves. We're going to try to figure out this transfer of energy and different types of energy. And your goal is to get one object to start in one spot and move to another. So start thinking about how things move. Uh, do they have wheels? Do they fly? And what gets them to do that? So let's dive into some examples. Or maybe move in to some examples. So for this challenge, there's no constraints on what materials you can use. You can use anything. So to give you guys some ideas for this challenge, we're gonna look at a basic wheel axle structure and how you can use everyday items to build wheel or wheels to make something move. All right. So for this, I'm gonna use just a basic piece of cardboard, a straw, and a bamboo, a bamboo, bamboo skew, bamboo skewer. Wow. Why do I have so much trouble saying that? So what we're gonna do, is we're going to take our piece of cardboard. This is kind of act like the body of a car. And we're going to take this and we're going to put the straws on the bottom of the cardboard. Then we're going to take the bamboo and we're going to put this through it. And this is going to allow the bamboo to turn, essentially creating wheels. Okay, so let's get at it. A few moments later. Man, you know what would be better? I'm kind of having trouble holding on to some of this stuff. And sometimes it's good to get another set of eyes to help out. So maybe I can, maybe I can recruit some help. Hey, Matt! Matt! What? What are you doing? I'm busy. Hey, I'm trying to make this like wheel axle thing for the challenges we're doing. You think you can come over and uh, give me a, some help, extra set of hands, extra uh, set of eyes to help out? Fine. Yeah, come on, climb on up. Uh, I need some okay, help. Okay. <laughs> Bam! Just like that. What are you doing? So we're working on these online Steam challenges and this week's challenge is that students have to build something that moves. Hmm. So what we were doing is we were taking just the, the straw part, which is going to be the, I don't know, the axle housing we can call it. We're going to tape that to the bottom of the piece of cardboard. Does that look good? It looks okay. Thanks. Then we're going to take the bamboo skewer and we're going to go ahead and put it through our straw to see how long we're going to cut it. Okay, so we're going to cut it about, I don't know, like there. Take the other one, we're gonna do the same thing going through this side. Ryan. What? Where are your safety goggles? <laughs> is that better? So what we're gonna do with the wheels is I found some old CDs and an old DVD. Now students used to put this into something and play music, put this in, play a movie. So we got four Christmases and Rascal Flats. <laughs> so these are gonna be the wheels that are gonna help this vehicle or object move from one place to another. Okay. So what I'm going to do, there's different ways you can combine this. You can get really creative. But the easiest way to do is we're going to try to fill in this circle. So I'm going to hot glue a piece of cardboard on the outside of the CD. Now, kids, before you start going around using a hot glue gun, make sure you ask a parent or a responsible adult. Okay. Hey, Matt, can I use the hot glue gun? I guess so. All right. All right. Well, while that's heating up, we're going to prepare. Just going to take the hot glue stick. Put it back there. Thank you. And Matt, I don't, I really don't know what these are. I think they're like finger coverings mm -hmm. that came with a hot glue gun. I don't know, do you want one? Brian, my fingers are sewn together. Good point. So we're gonna take a piece of cardboard. We're just gonna cut a couple small squares. Again, if you're gonna use a box cutter, or I didn't say this before, definitely ask an adult, get help with cutting. We don't want any accidents. So we're gonna take, I cut this little piece of cardboard here. We're gonna take this and we're gonna hot glue it to the CD. You'll see why in a second. So we're just gonna for drizzle <laughs> hot glue around, around the, the outside the here. I'm just gonna push it in. All right, so we went ahead and we hot glued a chunk of cardboard covering the center hole of the CD, or in this case, our Four Christmases DVD. Never saw the movie, heard good things. All right, we're gonna do it, repeat the process. Now with our old Rascal Flat CD. Two wheels. Repeating the process. Yeah, do you need a hand? Yeah, here, blow on this. Thanks. Keep an eye on that. No problem. Make sure it doesn't roll away. Old, burnt version of Colby Breakthrough. It's a great album. Great album. Blow. 
for him. Good. All right, so we now have our four. Oh, I burnt my finger. All right, so now we got our four wheels with our hubcaps, or I don't know what we want to call them. We're going to poke a small hole through the middle of them, and then we're going to feed through our bamboo skewer. So we're going to take this. Oh. You really needed my help with this? Yep. Matt, it's one of those things where you're just kind of lonely when you're creating. Yeah. I don't know if this is gonna work, man. Well, hey, you know what? Failure is part of the process. Okay. We're gonna fail forward. Okay. It's all about tinkering. What? What do you? What do you think here, Matt? What am I doing wrong? Uh, everything. I don't know. <laughs> you see this? My eyes are plastic, so. <laughs> you sense it. You know what we gotta do. Push it back. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Matt, one problem. If you look closely. Only one? Yeah. <laughs> Let's start with one. Good thing I didn't tape these on, or I just taped them on. I think we're going to move these further away, and I think it's going to free them up a little bit. So, you know, the design process, we call this a modification. I think we're going to have to make some, some <laughs> revisions. Oh, come on, man. Stay with it. Alright. Alright, let's take five and make this better. See you in a second. Or like two minutes. Two days later. All right, well after a couple minutes of tinkering and a few burnt fingers, I have uh, made a pretty cool working prototype or a vehicle here that's gonna be able to take one thing from another. So this is gonna be able to move from one place to another and it's a rubber banding car. And then all this is gonna be powered is powered by a rubber. Matt, wake up, I, I did it. Hey. There we go, all right? So the way this is gonna work is it's gonna take a rubber band. And we're going to stretch out the rubber band. We're going to wind the rubber band. Rubber band. Rubber band. Rubber band. So I'm loading the rubber band. So what I'm doing right now is when I'm stretching out the rubber band, this whole vehicle or this rubber band has what we call potential energy. So it's stored energy. Okay. So the whole idea is when I let go of this, the car is going to roll forward because the rubber band wants to go back to its natural state. So it's going to take the potential energy in it right now, convert it to kinetic energy, and it's going to start moving. Okay. It's, okay. It's All right. Ready? You going to catch this for me? You better catch it. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Wow! Good, Good stop, man. Matt. Kick that, that bad boy back here. Oh, jeez. All right. So there you go. Here's the rubber band version. So again, you could make this for the design challenge. Remember, challenge number two is to build a vehicle or something, an object that's going to move from one place to the other. And you're not just limited to a car, right? Get, Get creative, think outside the box. Hold on. One second. Just think outside the box and try to create something cool. Any last minute thoughts, Matt? Are we done? Good. You're going to make a video, one minute to 30 second video pitch showing how you built it, what materials you used, and how far it travels. You're going to post it to social media, tagging at Fluxspace, and using the hashtag, this is important, Flux2Steam2. So Flux 2, Steam 2, Season 2, Steam Challenge number 2. We'll come back a little bit later, probably in a day or two, with a really cool mousetrap car video. Hopefully Matt would come back. Matt, you want to come back? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, he still hangs around. We're buds. All right, this bump. Yeah! See you later.